Hello, I'm Jan Roberts and I'm founder of the Cultural Innovations in Action. The seed for powerful change is radical hope, which is the formation of hope in desperate times. And we need radical hope right now in the face of the despairing news we are receiving about the pandemic, Afghanistan, and climate change. Creating Radical Hope has been my purpose for more than 50 years in my grassroots organizing and activism. On this coming Monday, August the 30th, I will be leaving Tampa to go on a 14,000 mile, six week road trip with my videographer to film those groundbreakers around the country who are a addressing racial wealth inequity and injustice suffered by African Americans and Native Americans all around for many centuries. They are working on very concrete solutions that are being successful. The documentary is the culmination of my 25 years of research and engagement with the new economy, which is all about putting people and the planet first before profit and creating prosperity for the many, not just the few. Here's a sampling of what's coming up. You will meet Rebecca Adamson, an indigenous economist of Cherokee heritage who has established many institutions creating economic empowerment for indigenous peoples. And you will also meet people like John McMicken, CEO of Evergreen Cooperatives. Did you know that African Americans have a very rich history in establishing cooperatives in this country since the 1790s? And John's Evergreen Workaround Cooperative is the largest commercial sized workaround cooperative in the country and a model for many other cities. Robin Rue Simmons, a council person in Evanston, Illinois, who launched the first cash reparations for home ownership for black residents program in the nation. Nick Tilson of Lakota Aglala Heritage who is on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota and has met, established many organizations, including the Thunder Valley Community Development Corporation that has built sustainable housing on the Pine Ridge Reservation and created other innovative programs, and he is helping that happen uh, with other tribal nations. Wheezy Garriott Little Elk, who is bringing bison back to the Sioux Rosebud Reservation, and it will be the largest native-owned herd in the country. Trinity Tran was the lead organizer for the public bank movement in Los Angeles, and one uh, public bank is now being established in Los Angeles. It will be the depository for the city's fees and revenues, and it will serve the unbanked and those who are struggling financially with loans to help them with housing, education, and whatever their needs are. You will definitely be inspired by these passionate, incredibly persistent people you will be meeting. Most of all, you will be filled with radical hope and the will to continue to stay the course as we move through these bleak times.